Hey guys, Kajami Seller here, back at you with another plush haul video. Uh, today I'm going to go through some plush I've bought recently over the last couple weeks. So let's get started. These were all 25 cents, I believe. This is Wiley E. Coyote from Looney Tunes. Uh, no tags or anything, but uh, for 25 cents I'm not going to pass up Wiley E. Coyote. This is Greg Goria from Vampire Vampirina. Uh, I sold this one new for like 40 or 50 bucks on Amazon at one point. This one's not new, obviously, so it won't be as worth as much. But for 25 cents, I'm not going to pass that one up. I think this was Smallfoot or Littlefoot, one of those. Smallfoot. Smallfoot. Plushy. Uh, Winnie the Pooh. Just a standard Winnie the Pooh Disney plush. Uh, picked up this little Build-A-Bear hat. I think I paid like 50 cents for it. This one I shouldn't have bought. This little... Uh, I bought this one and I was like, oh, they got two uh, Paw Patrol plushies. Sky, I think, is her name. I'm not sure. But didn't realize this one probably got attacked by a dog at some point. So it doesn't have a nose anymore. So be sure to inspect them. Just because they're 25 cents doesn't mean you should buy them. This... I think it was Classic Poo. So pretty good condition. Still has the... Not the original tags, obviously, but that part. Uh, this I bought just because it was it made an, it made noise, I think. Maybe it doesn't anymore. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but it's Southwest Airlines. It's a little airplane. It sounds like it's taking off. So I had to buy that. Uh, and I'll come back to you in a second with this first big bag of plush. First up out of the big bag, this one needs some cleaning, but uh, not exactly sure what it was from. Let's see. Oh, it's from the Disney movie, or from a movie called Home. I do remember the movie. I never saw it. It's DreamWorks, so it's not Disney, but it's DreamWorks 2015 Home. This thing showed that it was uh, worth a decent amount of money. I think maybe uh, 15 or 20, 25, something like that. This is, this is the big bag plush I got for 15, so uh, once I clean it up, can you I'll be able to sell that for some decent profit. Next up is this Thomas the Train plushie. Thomas and Friends plush. This is Boo, I believe. Yeah, Disney Baby's Boo with the Sully. Uh, the monster from Monsters, Inc. Sully kind of style hoodie. So I had, to pa I had to pick that one up because I thought it was kind of cute. And it also has a little monster on the edge. Let's see what else. Pick this up because it's a TY C sequins. I think I only got one of these, but if I can find some more, I'll blot them up. I might just list this one individually. Sometimes I'll sell these on Amazon, but this one's got kind of unruly hair. <laughs> and I don't think it's considered new anymore. The stuffing down there is not really stuffing anymore. It's a cool little thing. It has the sequins. This little thing. <laughs> I think it's Sesame Street. Yep, Sesame Street 2019. So it's probably not worth that much, but I've got some other Sesame Street, Sesame Street stuff I can throw together. This little plush I got because it looked like... Uh, back. I think... I don't know if it's Fox and the Hound. I don't know if that was his name, but uh, I think this one actually had some value. I looked it up just to be sure. Maybe I didn't either. I don't know, but it looked old and it was small, so it fit pretty easily in the bag. You all know who this guy is, probably Barney. This is a relatively big plush. I think it was a little bit older. Maybe not though. Hasbro Play School. I wonder if it had a date on it or not. Yeah, it did. 1996 Lions Group. So I don't... I'll have to find out. Uh, might have to get some batteries and see if it works or not. Install some batteries and see if it works, but... Ooh, pretty heavy Barney plush there. Iron Man. Probably Play School. No, Superhero Squad. Marvel Superhero Squad. Uh, this one is a cool little Snoopy. It's Halloween, so I'll probably, I'll probably go ahead and list it. And if it sells, it sells. If it doesn't, uh, it'll sell around Halloween time. I can almost guarantee it because that's a cool pattern, Snoopy. This little dog. 
is Cal Toy, Made to Love, Made to Last. I had a reason for picking this one up. I'm not sure what it was, <laughs> but I'm going back to this bag. I've had this bag for three or four weeks, so I'll have to look that one up and see why I picked it up. This I picked up. It's a puppet. Anytime I see Folk Manus, or Folk Manus, however you say that, I pick it up. It's a puppet, and it's a snail. I thought it was going to be worth more than it. I think it's worth like 20 25 bucks. So it's, it pays for the plush lot with the snail, but I don't know. He's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, Folk Manus, puppets. Pick them up if you see them. This little gerbil slash hamster, whatever it is, uh, had the little cape on the back. So I picked it up just because it had the cape. I'm not sure what it's worth, but it had Fisher Price as well, which is a decent brand, and it's 2008, so it's a little older. I think it actually does have some value to it. So uh, Piglet, Winnie the Pooh. Let's see, I got this uh, mainly because of the Darth Vader outfit. I'll probably sell the outfit separately. Uh, this alligator, I don't think it was Build-A-Bear, but the outfit, Darth Vader outfit is. But yeah, I definitely sell that separately. Uh, sell the outfit separately. Let's see, I got one little Squeeze-A-Mole, or... Yeah, Squeeze-A-Mole. Anytime I see a Claire's exclusive, I'm going to pick it up, especially something this small. Some of these can have some value to them. Squeeze-A-Moles, Squishmallows, all of those that are like that. Uh, you never know which one could be worth big money. Then this is a surprise mole. I haven't really sold many of these. I've sold them new in the packaging, but I haven't really sold them individually. But I've collected a couple. Uh, Y'all have seen them in the halls. That I'm going to probably lot all them together and just sell them as one. Same thing I've done with those T.Y. Beanie Boos. Last item for this bag. Sven. From Frozen or Frozen 2. And this one, all it has is the Disney tag and has somebody's name, Hannah. This was her plush before she got rid of it. She threw Sven to the side like they do in Toy Story. And now he's going to get a new home. Alright. Another bag to go. Before we go into the second bag of plush that I just showed, I'm going to show a couple more plushies that I bought for 25 cents each. I believe this is Alakazam from Pokemon. I could be wrong. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but it kind of looks like him. Let me know if it's not him and what it who it is. It might be some other Pokemon that I'm not remembering correctly, but uh, for a dollar, got this little one. This is Mulan, I believe. Or it could be Pocahontas. It's one of the two. Disney super cute plushies. Sold these really well whenever they were new at I got them at Walgreens. They clearanced them all down to a dollar. All the plushies that were like this. They had like Jasmine, uh Elsa, Anna. Bell and a couple of the other princesses, Ariel. But I was selling those for some good money uh, whenever they clearance them all down to a dollar. Also got this bear. I bought it because it had masters on it. Anything, Anytime I see something masters related, which is that flag right there, that's the masters flag or masters logo kind of thing. And along with that, so it's the same symbol, that one and that. Sold us some Masters clothing before for really good money, and I've also sold uh, Masters plushies, so had to pick him up. Now for the other big bag of plush. This is a Blue's Clues little plush. It's a TY from 2006, Viacom. Another TY Beanie Boo to add to the growing collection of TY Beanie Boos. You've seen me sell them individually. Some of them I will sell, uh, I mean, yeah, you've seen me sell them individually. Some of them I'll sell in a big group, but this one I might sell individually. Easter's coming up, and I'm going to get that one listed probably uh, before this video releases. Another one, this one does have uh, some issues right there, but it does still have the tags. It's not new with tags, obviously, but it's scoop. Anytime I see T.Y. Beanie Boos and I have a big bag of plush like this, you can bet I'm going to pick them up. This is a Kermit the Frog. He goes from like 1980 something, 87, so it's almost older than me. But it had like the has the plastic eyes, it's Henson, and it's Christmas. And like I said in previous videos, if you see something you want, send me a message and let me know. Anybody want a kitty cat? I know there's lots of cats fan, cat fans in here. It does have some issues there, but little kitty cat. 
Next up is a jelly cat. Anytime I see these, I will pick them up unless they're in, you know, bad condition or something. But this is a jelly cat. It looks like a dog. I believe it's a dog. Uh, another TY Beanie Boo. This is Spex, the elephant. Funny enough, uh, I'll keep him right there because I think I found the same one in a smaller size. I've never found this one before. This is a Sensi Buddy. It is a Dalmatian. I wasn't sure what it was at first when I picked it up, but it's Sensi Buddy Dalmatians. So, got a collection going of those. Hopefully, they all sell <laughs> quickly. Uh, this is a bear. It's another jelly cat. So, I found a couple jelly cats on this trip. I found another one that I'd left because it looked like it was uh, had been bleached or stained or something like that. So, I'd, I put that one back. This I picked up because it had Top Gun on it. I'm not sure if it's sellable or not, but I picked it up. It's worth the risk for me because it is tiny and fits in the bag pretty easily. This I picked up because if you saw my latest Blue Box video, I had a Cheezosaurus Rex craft. This is also a craft singles Dairy Fairy. So I haven't sold the, the Cheezosaurus Rex yet, but maybe I'll lot the two together. I don't know, I thought it was kind of cool. <laughs> I picked up Chick-fil-A stuff before, and I didn't even know Dairy Fairy was a thing. This I picked up at the last second just to throw in the bag. Groovy Girls, it has no tag, so I will have to do some research on it to see if it was a good pickup or not. This I picked up because it was My Little Pony, I believe. Yeah, My Little Pony. This little thing is a cat. It worked in the store. No, oh, there it goes. It's a little kitty cat. I think it's for real. For real pets. Yep, for real. So we'll see if that has any value. But you, sometimes the animatronic one, or not animatronic, the ones with sound do sell decently. And it was small, so it fit pretty easily. This is the one that I was uh, surprised about. This thing's worth 30 or 40 bucks. It's a Starbright Pony. Don't know if it, it did have the tag. Yes, I think it was 80. This one is older than me, I believe. Let's see. It's Hallmark. 1983. Starbright Pony. And it's actually in really pretty good condition. That's just the camera showing that, but it's it's pretty clean overall. I think that's just... Oh, never mind. Found something. <laughs> have to do some work to get that little dot out. But other than that, it's in really good condition. This uh, I picked up because it looks like it's a Cabbage Patch dog. I saw the CPK, which is Cabbage Patch, so I had to pick that up. And it's 2005. That's the receipt. This I picked up, if I can get it out, because anytime I see planes stuff, I pick it up. I think this is Dusty from the Disney movie Planes. It has the landing gear, the wings, and it has D1, which, yeah, I think that does mean he's Dusty, but it's planes. Anytime I see, like I said, planes, pick up plane stuff, because there was only one movie, and it was pretty popular. I've still never seen the movie. One day. One day I'll see that movie. Picked this up because it was Patrick from Spongebob No tags, no manufacturer I just know that's Spongebob Picked this up because it was tiny And I sold one of these recently, a little blanky That might be a mouse, it could be a pig I think a pig would have like a round snout Or a square or snout, so I think that is a mouse But I think it was Carter's a little Carter's blanket. Let's see. Speaking of planes and cars, here is Tow Mater. Tow Mater Radiator Springs. And then I got a couple of these. Let's see. I picked up two. Uh, these are My Little Pony. 
Vintage plushies. Let's see. I think they had a date on one side of the tag. Yes, 1984. Hasbro Industries. So I think that both of these... This one doesn't have tags, the one with the pink hair. But they look the exact same style. So that's why I picked them up. I believe they're both My Little Ponies because they have the little, you know, stamps right there with the describing what they are. But, yeah, I'm not sure. I think I got a couple more items left in this bag. Oh, there he is. Remember how I said earlier specs? Well, there's the little specs. There's the big specs. So I got both of them. One has the tags, one doesn't. They were probably owned by the same person. Uh, I got this little thing. Anybody know what that's from? Without me... Uh, Revealing it by opening it. Write down in the comments below if you know what that's from. And then I got another little T.Y. Beanie Boo. So that's it for that bag. And I got a couple more items to show. Uh, this little frog that turns into a lion. It's not a flip -a zoo which is what you usually associate these with. It's... I don't know if it's, it's not called flip or anything, so it's not really a fake flip -a -zoo, but in my opinion, it's a fake flip -a because it's what I'm used to seeing as flip -a -zoos. My Little Pony Rarity, I believe, is this one. Yep, Rarity. Another Doodle Bear. I don't know about these. I've picked up a couple, haven't sold one yet. But for uh, 25 cents, I'll pick them up probably need to go through and find them all and lot them all together and try and sell them that way. Uh, a Rudolph plushie. Clarice. Let's see. What else we got in here? Uh, Jake and the Neverland Pirates. Cubby? or I don't remember his name. Uh, but I've sold him before. Uh, Fox from Star Fox. It's a Nintendo plush. You can see Nintendo right there. Uh, puppy surprise, 25 cents, I'll pick it up. Doesn't have any babies or anything. If I had the babies, it'd probably be worth picking it up at any price. I've already, I might have already shown those. I'm not sure if I've shown those or not before in a video. <laughs> if I have, I apologize for re-showing them. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, uh, my plush haul for this week. Or I'd probably do, and I do these every like two or three weeks, depending on what I find. If I don't find anything, then I can't show y'all anything. So, it just depends on what I find out in the wild when I'm searching. Uh, thanks for watching. Oh yes, almost forgot. Did anybody guess what this one's from? It's a Sum Sum. I haven't talked much about those lately. I haven't really found them lately at all. This is hard to open. <laughs> Let's just take one of these out. You might be able, you'll be able to tell then. This is Star Wars. A little lightsaber and that's one of the creatures from star wars i do not know that creature's name but i believe that's a creature from star wars it comes with uh there we go it comes with all these little guys in there the small version of that <laughs> uh, this little thing which i think is the big uh the big monster that <laughs> luke winds up killing at some point but yeah and then this one as well so four different little figures inside that one so that's it let me know what your favorite plushie that i found was uh, i'm falling behind on listing these plush <laughs> been out of town slash dealing with other stuff for the last like two or three weeks so haven't really done much listing so this is the plush pile. These are all ones from last time that are still just sitting here. And yeah, <laughs> anybody want to help me list? <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'll come out with some new content soon. Hopefully some plush hauls, and I'll have a what sold video on Monday, including uh, showing what happened to my house whenever I got back from vacation.